Hey, this is Asha, and welcome to another episode here on Backstage Income, where I show you how to build and grow a profitable business. Now, in today's episode, I want to share with you why you don't really need an Amazon bestseller uh, book in order to really make great money or a great living from your writing. And it's all about thinking more vertically. It's all about thinking a little bit deeper at how the book is used to funnel and used to really uh, go ahead and take people to the next stage within your business and within what they're trying to do and accomplish. So if you can help them get to the next level, then that's really where you can make even more so money to sustain your lifestyle from your writing. So let's take a look at how most people do it when it comes to Kindle book writing and making money from Kindle and why some people say, hey, I can't make any money from Kindle and others say, hey, I make a boatload of money from Kindle. Um, on one hand, it is just about, hey, the more books that you sell, the better off you'll be because you have a great starting point. But on the other hand, it's also about thinking a little deeper beyond that to the next stage. So let's look at it here this way. So if we look at uh, just a Kindle uh, a basic level of what people do. So what happens is, is uh, they might go ahead and let's just say, here's our, our book. So they go ahead and they write a book and then they look to profit from that book. Then they might go ahead and, uh, you know, write a second book. So now one book is generating income and now you got a second book that's generating income. So you're thinking of it in, in this way, uh, in a linear fashion as you're a general normal writer without thinking too much deeper about your customer. You enjoy writing, you love to write, so you go ahead and you write a book you make money. You write a second book, you make money, and you're making money from both, and it's passive income, and that all sounds great. Uh, you get a third book, and again, you make a little more money, and that's a normal, healthy way of thinking about it from the first level, or a basic level. But unfortunately, what's going to happen is you're going to need many more books and to make a living and sustain that lifestyle, unless you can really sell a ton of books. So you really need massive uh, quantity here to really get the ball rolling to sustain your lifestyle because uh, a book really the price of a book could be anywhere between two dollars to ten dollars you know some books are of course much more expensive but also depends where you live and the type of lifestyle that you want but in any case that's a basic approach to take things further at why you don't need a lot of sales if you think about it at a deeper level if you think about it this way at a basic level you don't need a lot of sales to sustain your lifestyle but if you think about it a little bit differently, so let's go ahead and draw here, you'll see where I'm going to. So let's look at a baseline of a business. So at a base level, let's just say we have books. And what I'm getting at here is we're going to draw kind of a little bit of a, a pyramid, okay? And at the star is kind of your, your pricing level. So here at this pyramid, there's multiple levels that you take your customer through. Now at the starting point, you kind of have books. Now, of course, you're still going to go ahead and make money from those books. But what's beyond books? So a book, you know, a book may cost, again, let's just say a $10 book. So it may cost $10, but what's beyond a book? So what can you offer for $49? Maybe, uh, let's say $159. Uh, somewhere around this price level could be to the next level for somebody uh, beyond books. It could be something like a you know a video tutorial. It could be a webinar, um, anything like that, where they're paying a little more money to get a little bit more you. Uh, whether it's a, a maybe even a signed book, a signed copy, a basket of books. So let's say instead of one book, hey, I'll send you fifty books, and that way, as you're giving it out to friends and family, you can get your book for just you know uh, two dollars a piece, and here you get a basket of books. So what's that next level, right? So you're thinking, hey, what can I do to the next level? What can I do to the next level? So, and this is what you do on this one. So after the webinar, what can you offer beyond that? So what can be something between, let's say, and I'm just putting a regular number in here. Of course, if your industry is in, let's say you're dealing with multimillionaires, well, this could be, you know, uh, somebody who is spending one and a half million dollars to $15 million. So again, it's, it's all relative. So here, let's say $150 to $300. So this could be something like, let's say a course. Uh, you know, there's a lot of video information courses out there. And uh, that could, of course, be the next level. So beyond that, what's next? Well, this could be uh, something, you know, 300 
to let's say under a thousand dollars so what's something like that it could be you know a seminar a live event and what's beyond that so you want you to keep thinking about these things uh, what's maybe uh, let's say a thousand dollars and up well here it could be something like a coaching uh, for the year you know it could be uh, do it for you you know done for you kind of service and this could also you know cost a little bit more so now you're looking at hey I can make more and more at each next level and remember you're stacking this and before even getting to the books what most people don't realize is this is where kind of your freebie stuff is right so anytime you do uh, freebies it could be like uh, blogging it could be videos on YouTube all this is freebies and you're always just taking people to the next level and the next level and this is what happens when you're starting to think about things more uh, vertical integration so you can see here we have kind of a vertical thought to making money right so to selling our books our books are kind of a foundational product whereas when you think about it this way at a basic level uh, you have to sell many more books because here if I sell let's say a thousand books here right let's say I'm selling a thousand books well I'm only making a thousand times maybe five dollars a piece right so what is that maybe it'd be five thousand dollars again plus expenses and those kinds of things here if you sell let's say a thousand books okay and you have many other things integrated well then let's say from that thousand maybe you get 400 people in your webinar from those 400 in webinar because you'll the higher up you go the less people there will be um, then from those 400 people maybe you get uh, 100 people that buy your video course maybe 50 people that attend the live event maybe five people that do your coaching so now all of a sudden well you got 50 people that pay you about $500 you got a hundred people that maybe pay you $200 you got 400 people that maybe pay you $50 so you're stacking more and more value and vertically integrating these things you're making much more money from this area as well just as much as here so even though this base is so big from the books this base is just as big it's almost half of this base so think about that half is going to come from less customers half of your income and that's how you can make a great living uh, from your writing or from your books even if you don't have an Amazon bestseller and that's what people do when it comes to you know you talk and hear about the affiliate uh, marketing and that kind of stuff is they're making much more money on the affiliate side and they're, that's why they're producing these books that are two five dollars in range maybe even eight dollars in range because they're pushing people to that next step and the next level so you can still start out this way this is a good starting point to just hey write the book get some money write a book get some money and then once that builds up I want you to start thinking about the next tier and the next level and that's how you can really sustain a comfortable financial lifestyle from your writing and using your books as a platform for the next stage without really having an Amazon bestseller or selling a ton of books because if you just have let's say five or ten books that sell a little bit here and there and if you have a good upsell sequence and people convert very well from your books then you should be just fine all right, so thank you so much for joining me in this week's video lesson. I hope you found it helpful and insightful to thinking more and deeper about your writing and making a living from your writing and how you really just have to think about the vertical integration within your books rather than just, hey, let me pump out more books because that will really help you sustain yourself financially. So thanks again, and as always, if you want to make sure you get caught up in watching some of the other videos that we have, subscribe to the YouTube channel or check out the other videos that we have. And if you get want to get notified for any other future releases, any other books that I'm writing, uh, video courses, discounts, promotions, get on the newsletter list by clicking the link right here or checking the description below. As always, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you in my next video.